Welcome. Come on in, why don't you, and sit a spell. <laughs> yeah, sit by the fire a while. Come on in, why don't you? Come on, you won't be judged here. <laughs> There's going to be no jokes at your expense. Why, it's just a creepy foreigner, his gay robot skeleton. <laughs> and a horse. Yeah. A horse. A horse with a new scar. <laughs> hey. Is there anything prettier than a horse with a new scarf? I'll say I certainly can't think of anything. <laughs> now, I'll tell you... Ah, uh, there you go. Last week... Yeah. <laughs> you know, for me, that never gets old, I have to say. Uh, last week, I had t terrible flu. I had the flu, didn't I? It was pretty bad. Oh, it was bad. How bad was it, Jeff? It was so bad. Yes. Anyway, it was bad. It was, it was bad. But now, I'm feeling a lot better, but I took a lot of medication over the weekend. Yeah? What, what sort of uh, nondescript medication did you take? Well, I took a medication. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called uh, crystal meth. Crystal meth? Yeah. yeah, I used it once. And see what happens. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Yeah. Hang on, stay there. CBS cares. <laughs> You know, I don't know if they really do. <laughs> what do you think, Jeff? <laughs> Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I took some uh, over-the-counter prescription, not prescription, just over-the-counter medication yeah, for yeah. my cold. And I have to say, as someone who doesn't take drugs very often anymore, I'm delighted to see how much the quality has skyrocketed since the last time. Good Lord. I feel I should get sick more often. Anyway, it's going to be a great show tonight with lots of exciting new things. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by PetSmart. Happiness in store. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. everybody well done you did it for yourselves <laughs> I heard the warm-up comedian before I came out we call him a comedian he's not actually a comedian but I heard him <laughs> much like myself <laughs> see when I'm standing like this it looks like I'm uh, feeling the breasts of someone lopsided yeah it does yeah. <laughs> I trained at the Lecoq school in Paris yeah you did yeah you did <laughs> It's a hell, school, man. it's a mime school in Paris. You are a racist. Racist, racist. Jacques Lecoq is a mime school. It's the most famous mime school in the world. Google it. Yeah. 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 Racist. Racist. <laughs> ah, you bet. You better go ahead and Google it. Get one of your little backstage bastards to Google it. Now they're censoring me, even though they don't need to censor me, although I will say the word that I said a little bit after that when I said Google it, that probably sh should be censored. 
see, it is real, isn't it? So I get to say it. Aha! Well, good night, everybody. <laughs> no. We ha I had the warm-up comedian before I came out, and he's warming up the audience, getting them all, um, you know. And that's a, that's a mime that they do. That like, um. I learned that. At, where did I learn that, Jack? The Jacques Lecoq school. Jacques Lecoq school, yeah. school as well. <laughs> what? Anyway, I heard him. Did you hear him? He yeah, said, yeah. Like, come on, do, do a great job. Do, do it for yourselves. <laughs> I was like, wow, he really, that's desperate. He must think this audience is crap, which is weird because they're great. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Young, healthy, beautiful people. Yeah. I'm, quite, I'm actually quite astonished. Some nights I come out here and I go, oh boy, but these, they, they look nice. They're very sexy. You guys look like very you could, honestly, I think you could do better. Yeah. I think you could get into a better show than this. Yeah, you have low self-worth. Yeah, you know? come on, guys. Do it for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you can go and see a real show. You can go and see, like, a sitcom or something. Yeah, you, this is beneath your station. Yeah, come on. You guys, time you've got to spread your wings and fly, girlfriends. <laughs> oh, yeah, hang on. It's a great day for yeah. America, everybody. <laughs> This is a little uh, mime thing that I learned. <laughs> All right, relax. I won't say it again. This segment. Anyway, great day for America. Did you watch 60 Minutes last night? Oh, yeah. yeah. I watch it now because I'm getting on in years. I find myself attracted to 60 Minutes. I get, as the older I get, I'm like, oh, 60 Minutes, eh? <laughs> Who are all these young presenters? Anyway, I watched it, and then, uh, you know, I saw the thing about Alex Rodriguez. He's been suspended all of next year's baseball season. Oh, dear. Yeah, I know. And he says he's taking Major League Baseball to federal court. And experts say that A-Rod's case is fairly weak, but that will change when he injects himself with steroids. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. I accused him. Yeah, yeah. I accused him. Yeah. That's it. Up until now, up until now, A-Rod has been fairly safe. But now... That I have mentioned it on this show, now his career is at it. That's end. right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, apparently, I was watching this thing. Did you watch it? He had gu little gummies on his tongue. That's right, yeah. Yeah, no, that's not a thing. That's not a sex thing. Is it? No, no. Getting a little gummy on your tongue? No, no, no. <laughs> you know where I learned that, don't you? No, I, well, apparently he was taking these little things and then by the end of the game, it, the, it's disappeared into your body and it doesn't show up in a dope test. They're like, I need those! Yeah. I need th those for this show! Like, when you guys are being warmed by the warm-up comedian, I could be backstage getting a little gummy on my tongue and then come out. <laughs> oh, I admit, if I ever make it to the talk show host Hall of Fame, <laughs> then I'd have to have an asterisk by my name. But I don't give a crap about that. No, no. I don't care. There's usually an asterisk next to my name anyway. <laughs> what is it? It says uh, creepy foreigner. Maybe. Creepy foreigner, yeah. <laughs> Trained in Paris at a school <laughs> that really exists. Anyway, uh, I, I've got to do some talk show stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, what, what else is going on? Man? Oh, well, a dog in New Mexico. <laughs> See, there yeah, it That's good, yeah. yeah. A dog in New Mexico tested positive for marijuana. First of all, what the hell are they doing in New Mexico? <laughs> like, don't they have a drug problem? They're chasing dogs around? I think that dog's high. If, if, I, if I thought, uh, like, every dog I see looks high. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> and they'll eat anything you want. Yeah, that's right. Scratching. <laughs> I think that dog's high. Yeah. But apparently, police say they became suspicious when they heard the dog's first name. Because apparently he had two names. All right. Scooby-Doo. That's two right, names. Right, right. But this dog's name was apparently Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. What yeah. Well, if a dog was smoking pot, Jeff, what kind of a dog do you think it would be? Uh, a potweiler. Potweiler? All right. <laughs>
<laughs> what about a Duberman? A yeah, Duberman. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Very good, very good. All right, come on, let's oh, see it. Oh, oh, how about a, an English mass spliff? Very good. <laughs> a bongeranian. Uh, Thanks, I think yeah, you were being supportive right. there. Anything else? Uh, a blunt hound. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Shall we move on? Yeah. Actually, we can't. That's it. We spent all the entire oh, monologue uh, not doing the monologue. That's good. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's almost, Jeff, as if we have some kind of weird contempt for the format in which we inhabit. As if we're doing a, a send-up or a satirization of the late-night talk show thing. Don't be absurd. CBS would never allow that to go on the air. <laughs> but then again, they'd have to know it was on the air, wouldn't they? Yeah. And I don't think they do. I don't think we've been on the air for three years. I don't care. I'm having a good time. It's good. I like it. Yeah, there it's, that's, yeah. I like it. I like coming out here, these fresh-faced young people doing it for themselves. <laughs> that's why I trained... <laughs> ...in Paris. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Kraftwerk mit Florian und Ralf. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Florian, you look like you are in pain. You are correct. I am in a great deal of pain. Ooh. <laughs> Please explain. I am experiencing extreme burning down there. <laughs> it feels as if millions of piranha fish are nibbling on my Johnson. <laughs> and they're trying to pry their way inside using tiny metal objects. I wish I could do something to make it stop. Huh. Make it stop? <laughs> Mine! I'm in pain because I know it cannot last forever. Ooh, ah! <laughs> Everybody, welcome back. Just to enjoy blowing the old rusty trombone there. Oh, uh, yeah. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. <laughs> you know where I learned to play trombone? Where's that? Paris. Paris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll never take me alive, copper. <laughs> so, Jeff, did you have a nice weekend? I did, I did. What'd I you was, do? Uh, I was here. Uh, what about, with the band here too? Uh, yeah, no, the guys were here. They, they... Uh, were you here, guys? Yeah, we were here, yeah, we're having a great time. <laughs> These shy fellows, the shyest band in late night television, they will never come out from behind the curtain, right guys? That's true, that's true, we're very, very shy. <laughs> and I don't know why, because your music is spectacular. Let's hear one, something. Two, one, two, three, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Good. Yeah. Take that, other late-night shows with bands that actually exist. <laughs> Do you know, no one ever phones me anymore. Is that right? Yeah. Uh-oh, oh, oh who's that? Hello, who's this? Uh, hello, sir, it's Jerry from Room Service. Hey, Jerry, I was just saying, no one ever phones me anymore. Yeah, no, I just uh, thought I'd call in and see how the show was going, sir. Not so good, I have oh, to be honest dear. with you. Yeah, the audience, I feel, are only doing it for themselves. <laughs> Yeah, we got a bit of a low self-esteem audience. Low self-esteem audiences. Yeah. These people, these people don't need me, Jerry from Room Service. They need Oprah Winfrey. They do. They need. They all need a, a free car, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to give everyone a, well, free, that's, a free car. Well, yeah. that's lucky. <laughs> that's lucky because tonight you're all getting a free car. Now here's how you're going to get it. 
you go out on the street and help yourself. <laughs> CBS is not responsible for anything that may happen after you get your That's free correct, sir. Very good, sir. All Very right, good, sir. so uh, listen, Oprah Winfrey isn't there, is she? Uh, no, Oprah's not here. Any, uh, is there anyone there? Yes, well, as a matter of fact, uh, Morgan Freeman is here. Morgan Freeman is there? He's just hanging out, sir. He oh, may I speak to him? Yes, yeah, certainly. Just All right, then. Uh, hello. Uh, hi, Morgan Freeman. Oh, yes. Did I get a free car? <laughs> yes, Morgan. What kind of car would you like? Well, I, I really like a Buick. <laughs> Could you say the, the type of car that you like without actually naming a manufacturer for yeah, CBS? Yeah, I like uh, a generic uh, car. With, uh, with, uh, well, you're in luck, Mr. Freeman, because that's just the type of car that we're giving away tonight. <laughs> Say, uh, Craig, have you ever um, studied uh, any mime work? <laughs> I did study at a very famous school in Paris. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Why, yes, it is, Morgan Freeman. I gotta go, though, Morgan. All right. I was hoping you'd say the name of it. <laughs> no, no, I won't be saying the name of that particular school again. <laughs> Apparently, for racial reasons. <laughs> racist. Bunch of racists. Bunch of racists. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. All right. I'm still here. All right. <laughs> Wow, That's weird. Yeah. That's good. Very weird. <laughs> All right, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from America's number one lopsided breast mime. <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> you like that, don't you? You really paint a picture. It's yeah, silly. thank you. I, I get it. It can also be uh, regular uh, in a row breast on a ski slope. Yeah, yeah. In a row breast, in a, in a I row said, breast. yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Let's do this voice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, this, uh, this is from, uh, do you want to do a quick email jingle? Yeah, yo, yeah. Emails? Yeah, right, yeah. there you are. Uh, this is from Lawrence in Indianapolis. He says, Craig, is there any way to get passes to come and see your rehearsals? <laughs> 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 yeah, sure. Just come along any time we're rehearsing and you'll be welcome to come in. <laughs> Look, I'm not lying to you. I show up here, I do this, I leave here. We do not rehearse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> That's just a bit you're doing for that. No. Do we rehearse? All right, I'll ask you that question again in French. Do we rehearse? See? How could he possibly know that was going to happen? Do we rehearse, Jeff? See, just now, I didn't know you were going to ask me that. <laughs> and that's magic. Guess where I learned this? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we're out of time. Now, I think I should probably keep these uh, for tomorrow night. Yeah, save them. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah, because they're good. For example, this one says, uh, Craig, it's from Diana and Loma Linda in California. Oh, Loma Linda, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I tell you what it is now, you won't stay around for tomorrow night's show. Oh, yeah, because and I don't want to be prepared because we don't prepare. For oh, well, I better read it now then. <laughs> but wait, we're way over time and Michael will be upset. Oh, that's right, we don't give a Clark it. So, yeah. uh... Yeah. Oh, man. Now, I was using it in the French mime context. <laughs> w would you like to see the French mime of that word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Diana in Loma Linda, California says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. My sister is a big fan of your show. Would you say hello to her, please? We hope you're enjoying your stay in hospital. Loma, Loma Linda. Isn't there a hospital there? Yeah, Loma Linda. That's a very Loma Linda Hospital. Yeah, it's a good hospital. Yeah, it's too. a great hospital. Did you go there? I've been there a couple times. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not really a recommendation, though, Jeff, given your, uh, given your current condition. No, I, I was visiting a friend. Well, that must have made them feel great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, C-3PO had a bad uh, spleen thing, and I wouldn't just... Yeah, I'm not going to go with this. I didn't know. See, I didn't know you weren't going to go with this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Let me be the first to inform you, I am not going to go with this. <laughs>
We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Tonight is for my for my money one of the finest actors working today, right, Jeff? One of the greatest Fantastic story. actor. Yeah. Sometimes he comes out here. I don't know whether to believe him or not. He's that good. <laughs> His new season of the following uh, premiere Sunday on Fox. Take a look at how the last season ended. See now, isn't that the type of show that you would want to be an audience for? Yeah. 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 That's a great show. Kevin Bacon, everybody. Kevin Bacon. That I owe you an apology. You owe me an apology? Yes, Why? Yes. Um, many people don't realize that when you go on these talk shows, oftentimes the host gives you a gift, like a really nice bottle of champagne or some luggage or something like that. This doesn't sound like you're going to be the apologizer here. Oh, no. <laughs> but on, on, on the Late Late Show, you get a really, really nice coffee cup. <laughs> a Late Late Show coffee cup. Yes. And uh, the, the last one you gave me was actually um, autographed by, by you. And I could tell that you, you know, sp spent a lot of time with it because it said, all the best, Craig Ferguson. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> oh, boy, I must have really worked on that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I was feeding the dog, and I realized that somehow, inadvertently, it had become the dog food scoop. And I, I feel... I'm, I'm mortified. Whoa. I'm mortified. I, 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 heads were rolling all over the house, and I, I, I wanted you to... Wait, what happened to you, man? We were friends once. <laughs> You're using my cup to scoop your dog's marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe that? I don't believe it. I, I... A f high dog? Yeah. I like the fact that you, <laughs> you put that in my head that... Dogs always look high. That's they do good. look high. Like, hey, you know, what's up? That's just awesome. Like, who else but somebody high would go like this? Ah. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's what I do when I'm high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you scratch my tummy when I'm high, the leg goes. <laughs> They're high, and, you know, they poop. Uh, facing north. Did you hear that story? I did not know that. Yeah, there's a study that's recently been done that, that they have an idea about uh, the, the gravitational pull or the whatever that would be. Yeah. And they, uh, and, and they'll, and I think about it that's now. My they dog the circle, spins. They, right? and, they, and if you look, almost all the time they are, I think it's north, they're p pointing in a northerly direction with their head facing north. Well, so well, the other end being the south end. That's so, right. <laughs> Well, well I, so if you were, like, lost in the desert with your dog, all you have to do is wait for it to poop. As long as you have some dog food and a dog scooper. Well, who would go into the desert without that, though? Yes, uh, exactly. Now, uh, which a thousand and one uses. Yeah. I, you must smoke a lot of marijuana, man. <laughs> You in town for the Golden Globes? Yes. That, they were awesome, weren't they? I they watched them good. last night. Yeah, they were really fun. You know, I watched... I never usually watch them. I watched uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. They were really funny and They're nice. Hilarious. and It was like a real show. They're see, that's the kind of show you should go and see. <laughs> no, they were, they were great, and our daughter was Miss Golden Globe. Yes, yes. That was, that was that really fun. That is lovely. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. She had a lot of fun with it. I, however, had the, uh, the on the red carpet, had the challenge of two trains uh, to step on. And oh, that yeah, is, yeah. I mean, you know, you don't want to complain too much about being at the, something like that, but I live in complete fear because I almost every time step on Kira's train and she's not happy about it. And the red carpet was wet. Yeah, I saw there was some poop spilled on it. It's, um... <laughs> I don't know that it was poop. Was yeah, it? yeah, it was poop, man. Is it was that... like... There was some north-facing dogs. <laughs> no, there, I think there was some kind of sewage leak, and it, and it went onto the red carpet, and everyone was going, allegory, uh, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
kind of, yeah, I guess it's Crikey. inside of Hollywood. Yeah, I guess you do. You, did that word you said, can he say that? No, I can't say you, that. Man, you have ears like a bat. Yeah, sorry like about The that. audience didn't even hear that, but I heard it because yeah. I knew you would. Yeah. You ever been to Paris? Yeah. <laughs> ever trained in the art of mime? Uh, I've done a little bit of mime. Yeah? Yeah, when I was in acting school, there was a little bit of mime training. Yeah, no, uh, one, no one beat you up when you were doing it? No. Uh, <laughs> No, but you know what's funny? I remember uh, one of the first things we had to learn was just making your hand go like this. And I don't really know what it was. Oh, I know what it was. You made your hand go like this, and then you made it go like, like this uh, without touching the table. And that's all I remember from acting school. You, but wait. <laughs> and the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah. <laughs> Man, from there to Footloose. That was like, what? Right. That's amazing. Well, yeah. Did they? That was it. So they probably taught you to do it with your foot too, didn't they? So why now, from that young, beautiful, fresh-faced boy that were doing that, and I, now all the parts you do are scary, dark, evil men. Well, I'm not a fresh-faced boy anymore. Uh, I don't know. You look kind of fresh-faced to me. You look kind of cheerful and I, full well, of promise? I don't know. You know, I think that I like to, uh, I like to explore the dark side sometimes in my... Sexually? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah sure. Should, we, should we choose a safety word? <laughs> <laughs> For this interview? Yeah, yeah, why not? Okay. Because suddenly I may just come at you, you know. Let's uh... see. What's our safety word? How about, um, giraffe? Good. Good idea. Giraffe, you're, break, you're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. Yeah. Why do you like to explore the dark side? What's wrong with uh, you, man? I don't know, man. You know, it's just, uh, you know, my mother didn't like my hair. Oh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as a, as a lad, um, she really wished that I had curly hair. My brother had curly hair, and she loved his hair, and mine came out straight. What about, what about your brother's hair now? What, is it curly still? It's still curly and mine's mm -hmm. still straight. You seem to be very adamant that you're straight. <laughs> why, why would you, why would you insist on this word if it weren't important to you? Mm, yeah, um. What's wrong with being curly? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I'm the worst therapist in the you're, world. You're yeah. not good. No, no. You're not good. Although I may take this away and think about it and come back and talk to you tomorrow. Well, well I tell you what, we'll take a commercial break and then you can come back in uh, two minutes, depending on your region. <laughs> Kevin Bacon, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. That, that was a short commercial break, depending on your region. <laughs> we, we can't talk about what we were talking about there, which was the Golden Globes. Right. Because that would give away Hollywood secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's talk about your dark sex thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's... Nah, I don't think I so, man. You, I mean, how long have you been married now? Well, uh, 25 years. Well, then, yeah. yeah. 25 years. In Hollywood years? It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going well. You know, we, uh, we, we still um, have a good time. And we like, Sexually? Yeah, we <laughs> do, actually. Yeah, I'd say, yeah. yeah. Well, of course, it's an important part of any healthy relationship. I agree. Well, there you are, then. I agree. It is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you guys meet? Uh, junior high? No, uh, well, I can tell you, the, uh, the, the truth is, is that I was doing a play down in the village in, um, I guess it was the 70s, and right. I, I went uh, in between the matinee and the evening performance to pick up a sandwich at the deli, and a little girl was in there who had just seen the matinee, and her brother said to him, oh, you like that actor, go tell him that you liked him, and it was Kira. And, wow, uh, she was she, just a little girl? She was a little girl, yeah, she was 12 years old. I don't really remember it. Ooh. In her memory, <coughs> this is kind of interesting. <coughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I think we're running out of time! No, 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 no. Well, she said to me last night something that I'd forgotten, is that in her memory, I was ha buying myself a beer, which is kind of interesting because I, 
don't I don't work drunk. Right. And it seemed a little strange. Loser. Was, yeah, right. <laughs> It seemed I'm, I must have been kind of fast and loose with my with my uh, with my professionalism back then. If I was having a beer in between the matinee and the evening performance, that's not a big deal. Just no. a beer, mind you. I'm a you know I'm an alcoholic, but still, they. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. It's a, it surprised me. And anyway, that's the, and then you then met, met later on. We met. I don't remember it. And then later on, um, uh, actually, Jeff Daniels and Cynthia Nixon were doing a play. Yeah. And, uh, you went out for a beer. Yeah. Yeah. No, they wanted to make a. They wanted to turn this play into a, uh, t a television film, and neither Jeff Daniels nor Cynthia Whit Nixon wanted the parts. Ah. And those parts were taken by me and uh, Kira, oh, and, and so yeah. we really have them to thank for you know uh, their sloppy seconds in a way, and they and we, that's how we met. That's a beautiful story of show business love. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> anyway, the fo the following looks great. It's it's good. We're, we're out. We're out. <laughs> No, it's good. Thanks. Second season. Yeah, it's a second season, and you know, uh, what can I say? It's uh, I, I love doing the show. More murder, more mayhem, and uh, I, I, I'm really having a good time. Family entertainment. Kevin Bacon, everybody. <laughs> Talented young actress, you can see her in Instructions Not Included on DVD January the 21st. Take a look at this. <laughs> Carla Souza, everybody, Carla Souza. Carla! May I say you look absolutely beautiful. Why, thank you, but I'm freezing. Oh, yes, we like to keep it cold here. Is anyone else really cold? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're all cold, but it keeps my nipples perky. <laughs> it's, it's to keep the audience awake. Oh, right. It's a, it's a talk show trick. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's done all the time. I think they'd stay, they'd stay up for I'm you. I'm not sure that they'd even stay here. Uh, <laughs> If we didn't lock the doors. Do you want some? Do you want a jacket or something? Um. Do you have one? Yeah, I got one on. But it's no, I'm okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, you don't like this jacket? It's it's is it um Gucci? It's uh, it, no, it's that Look. gentleman there. Well, I have my dress is also from him. Really? It's almost as if we match in some kind of weird, creepy sponsorship way. <laughs> no, but that's a interesting. It's a beautiful dress. It's yeah, minty green. I like minty thank green. You. Gracias. Yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. thank you. You said gracias, it's uh, Spanish, you racist bastard. <laughs> is, your, is your first language Spanish? Did you grow up in... Yes. Where? Uh, in uh, Colorado. Yes. <laughs> you leave me in an interesting position. Oh. Uh, is your family Mexican? Uh, yes, but we lived in France, too. Oh, did you study? <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, so, let me get this straight. You studied in France, mm -hmm. but you grew up speaking Spanish, and you also speak English. Do you speak any other languages? Uh, I mean, because that's pretty impressive where you are right there. Where I am? The Late Late Show? Yeah. Oh, no, he is not impressive. Right. The dress is impressive. The language skill is very Thank impressive. Thank you. Um, Spanish, French, and English. Mm. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Do you work as, a, as an actress in all of those different languages? Um, like, could you go to England and suddenly go, Hello, it's lovely to be at Downton Abbey. Well, actually, I tried, but they were like, No. No. No, they're like, you know what? Like, no, you're not English. You like, What's that coming, I go? Very English, as a matter of fact. <laughs> You right. sound more English than some English people I've met. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think they might be frauds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you have a nice time in London? I used to live there, you know. Really? Mm. 
I actually, I, I need my vitamin D, so I got really depressed. I gained like 15 kilos. I shaved Kilos, my... eh? <laughs> so, hey, yeah, what is it? I don't know what it would be in pounds. Uh, about 150. Mm. <laughs> that sounds right. That sounds, that sounds right, yeah. <laughs> no, we only use kilos in the United States when we're measuring cocaine. <laughs> I wonder why. Absolutely. So, that's good. Were you at the Golden Globes yesterday? The what? The Golden Globes. They were yesterday. Mm, what, the gold... It's a, it's a phony award show that NBC does for people. Oh. Right. Did they have any, um, any Mexican movies nominated? Oh, bless you. <laughs> that's probably why I didn't watch it. I don't, I don't know, actually. They, they may have done... No, I, Alfonso Cuarón won, so I was really happy. Yeah, yeah, well, well yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Do you follow that kind of thing? No. No. I don't know that it's a way to make yourself happy. I used to watch it, and I would get very bitter because I wasn't included. And then I found out if I didn't watch it, then I didn't notice. That's exactly... <laughs> this is like exactly my train of thought, because I thought, why am I going to watch these amazingly beautiful, rich people walk down a red carpet... That smelled of poo, apparently. That... Mm -hmm. right. And then, you know, why would I do that? So I just pick up my phone the next day and I see who won, who didn't. That's it. I think, I think that's fine. You'll win, though. You'll get all that stuff. <laughs> no, you. you've got it written all over you. I don't think after this conversation oh, they'll yes, ever invite me to go. Oh, come on. They know it's a joke. <laughs> Hollywood foreign press renowned for the sense of humor. <laughs> Almost as much as the Film Academy, but let's not go there. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. It's almost like, you know, therapy. It's, you... so it's so tight. It's like, you know, you're barely getting to... Uh, and then it's like... Uh. Do the first noise again. You know, my mom is actually backstage. Look, I'm a creepy guy. She might as well know. <laughs> She's backstage. Yes. Not even in the green room. She's like, Oh, no, Wait. sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, right, because I thought she was, like, backstage. <laughs> she... Does your mom uh, work out? I took her for the first time to yoga yesterday. She, she hated me for that. To the hot yoga. The one you oh, oh yeah, the hot yoga. Yeah, I've yeah, never done yeah, it, yeah. but I've seen videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Really? No, um, no, I haven't. A little bit, yeah. Uh, no, is that be... what you do before going? Like, you check it out, see if you like it, and then it's like, uh... Yeah. Yeah? That's exactly what I do. What, what, didn't, what wasn't appealing about a room that's, you know, 90-something degrees, you're sweating, every other girl is in their bikini or something, they're stretching, well, giraffes you... everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you, you may have turned me around on it. I might go now. <laughs> We have to go. Say good night. Oh, good night. Uh... <laughs>